Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round three group I match between surveillance and circle. As you can see, they both got black kits, so let's make them red and blue right quick. Circle in the red, surveillance in the blue. I can also show, show you the groups. This is a critical match, not for surveillance. Surveillance has won the group. But if Sergal wins, he will join him. If he loses, well, he's very likely out. Almost certainly out if he loses this game, Sergal. And if it's a draw, he's got a yeah, If he's got a draw, he's got to have a chance because Zapatsky and Spitfire can draw. Uh, but of course, they'll know they've got to win, so it doesn't make much sense for them to draw. But um, yep, anything can happen. So circle has gone all block, which is actually probably going to be pretty great versus Skaven, right? Loads of block, doesn't need guard, because all of his guys are stronger anyway. So this is maybe a, a fiendishly clever meta pick here. Whereas Surveillance has got the usual stuff for Skaven. He's got the leader. He's got both skills on the um, Storm Vermin. He's got Juggernaut. He has missing Wrestle on the Gutter Runner there. He's got a Rookie Gutter Runner. I feel like, well, the funny thing is, I'm like, I feel it's better to drop the mighty blow off the blitzer, I think is the best thing, but then, you know, we've seen uh, Nabolo just absolutely slaughter teams, so maybe that, maybe I'm wrong, maybe dropping a wrestler or dropping, you know, something else is the best way, but, okay, it is in the rain, so the fact it's in the rain, I assume surveillance won the toss and chills to kick. Gives him a chance of a failed pickup, and also, you know, with kicking gives you more chance of being able to field enough players to get the one turn off. And I can tell you how both of these chaps are qualified. And Sergal is Spanish, qualified through the season four official playoffs on PC, and Surveillance is Swedish, plays on PlayStation and qualified through the PlayStation League Coalition World Championship Open, so there you go. Um, and yeah, he's already he's already through to the round of 32. Uh, as, champ, as champion of the group, Surveillance. He's won both of his games, Sergal's drawn both of his, so even if Sergal wins, uh, the, others, the other two are on one point each. So yeah, absolute guarantee, top of his group Surveillance, so well done to him. must be nice to wrap up not just qualification but winning of your group in two games unbelievably good it's a big pal I might have gone for the unprotected line all there but instead he gets the knockdown on the AV9 plus and gets the removal and versus block rather than um, defenseless, right? The question is, will surveillance be aggressive? He could blitz this guy and then 2 plus 3 with gutter runners. And even 3 plus 3 with other players, but He's only lost one off the LOS, but the other two stun makes it hard for him to do a lot here. Well, he does go straight for the big one, and he gets the pretty much perfect push on the first hit, so he can power on the second. Oh, but he doesn't pound the second. And now, <laughs> this looks a lot less exciting. If he'd pushed then powed, this would look pretty good, right? One, two, three, four, five, then he'd be like six here, and then they'd all just run through. Yeah, finally no lizards. Though we do have rats. Disgusting things. Probably should just move this guy all the way around first, right? 
This guy can just get there without even having to touch. <laughs> uh, I did think he might just go straight in here with the gutters. Okay, well... So he, he went that... He got to that square by making two dodges. I do feel like going here without making any is definitely better. But... That's a three plus dodge off with him. Can go... Okay, rush. That protects the rogue a bit, I guess. I quite like just putting him, you know, there so you're screening with the old, the roger. Because like now he's not, right? He can come back, move through here. So I quite like him just there. Mighty blow hit. Full power. So he's got the yeah. He might have to go here, so he's not too close to the roger. So he's got a cage, but it's you know it's still a little bit under threat, isn't it? A bit of Olivia do lacking this from surveillance, maybe. Actually, didn't like that move, right? I, I prefer to just move this guy there. Ah, uh, I guess, to be fair, he wants two in the block, doesn't he? So, yeah, I guess you've got to move these two in and block him. Gets the knockdown. So, you've got a tough call between basing these two line rats, which is incredible, or just coming around to punch this guy. But yeah, it does seem pretty good to base those two. Well, pretty rough for the rats. It's funny how good the biggins are in it now, like these block biggins. Look incredible versus Skaven and like good versus Woody's and well, I mean, the, the best win rates are Wood Elves, Dark Elves, and Skaven in this tournament, probably, and all block is probably better than guarding every single one of those. But he might struggle versus the Necro. And he's already struggled a bit, hasn't he? He's drawn his first two games. Oh god, the roger. <laughs> the roger hasn't got a knockdown yet. What a difference between surveillance and Nabolo. Nabolo is just like instantly Casasaurus. And uh, surveillance is completely failed to do anything. He does get the punch with Mighty Blow now, though, which is nice. And protect the Roger. I think the best play is here, right? So you protect the roger. Because at the moment he can blitz one of the gutters and then 2D the roger. Whereas if you moved him there, he wouldn't just be able to blitz a gutter and then 2D the roger.
Yeah, I think that was definitely the right square for him. Blitz is him. How to blitz the strip both, to be honest. And then, you know, punch the roger. Strip ball's easy to knock over. And I, and I know you've got show hands on the uh, on the thrower, but Hello Rotten Blute, it is indeed, yep, the uh there's all sorts of links for everything. Um, oh, the pinned link has Breaky T's document, full document thing, and that has all the rules. But yeah, it's basically like a pretty standard NAF style thing, right? Like six skills for Orcs, I think seven for Skaven. And uh, yeah, 64 people qualified through various means and uh, the top 32 go through to the knockout stage surveillance already through as champion of this group and Serg will try to join him as runner -up. champion may be a bit much for three games isn't it winner of the group Done quite well, hasn't he? Actually, Sergal. He's got his full cage. He's got some big ones out in front. The block makes basing really, really mega dangerous. As this is tough for surveillance, for sure. Very tough. <laughs> yes, I would not Oh no, I moved him away so that he wouldn't bite him. And now, of course, that makes animal savagery worse than um, Unchannel Fury because it is a worse trait. And now he loses his tackle zones. Feels terrible. I feel like the play for surveillance had to involve oh, he's not not snaking. Had to involve this guy blitzing this one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then the gutter comes there, he punches. Then this guy comes over, this gutter comes over. So he could have knocked off, knocked off of both of these guys. And then he could have just blocked with the roll at the end. I think that was the play. Knocking down those two big ones would have been much better than not knocking down those two big ones. Kind of surprising to not make this three dice, right? Um, only dodge. We've got mighty blow. Three dicing that seems pretty good. But again, before snaking, I I did like the uh, punching things.
So that does let the Rogue off the hook a bit. You can blitz him back into the action. Haven't used a wee wall yet as a veil, so Finally gets a pow. Well done, Roger. <laughs> this gut has kind of got to protect the Roger as well. So. Daydreaming now. Whoa. I wish I'd had more than five hours sleep before an eleven hour stream <laughs> of nine games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yes, Niagara the Stripper is Kaz. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be it. Well, I mean, the thing is, the thing that surveillance has going for him is that Mr. Throw is really, really, really slow, isn't it? Really slow. So, he might be able to do enough. Indeed, completely unbiased, but uh, also cheering surveillance. He's done the finger bus with the front filled up. Unbelievable. That looks um, pretty impenetrable. Oh, red dice chain. Yeah, it's not impenetrable. He could have red dice chain. Get him out for a 1B. Chunter probably would, yeah. 
I think so. I, I like just standing in the way and then one turn honestly. Only three turns for Sergo, so like standing in the way he's got some odds of working. Oh wow, Yatsik and Lepeg are playing the tiebreaker game on Friday. have to do that one live, don't I? Well, KO'd. And now there's a gaping hole. I mean, neither side really, but this looks easier, doesn't it? Well, he's not going that way. Yeah, I'm getting really far forward, actually, for an orc. Interesting. And he can bullet this and like vaguely try to scream, can't he? Have you made sure that the uh, admins have set everything up, uh, Lepeg? Hmm. 
This is pretty decent, isn't it? It'd have been better if this guy was one bad, but this is still good enough. He's only really got round the corner to go. But then he does have this to kind of track these in the rear. Way. Hey. Thanks, El. Is he in a sideline cage or? <laughs> Lepeg, have you have you like sorted out with the admins that like you know you're all in the right competition and everything sorted out and that for the game? Because you know they might have to do things in that night, they? You don't want to just be trying to play at five tomorrow and you can't. So he does have dodge outs for all of those. But like even if he gets them out. He just has two here, two here, and then nothing there. So he's got to get these two out as well. And then he can have two there, two there, and two there. And then that's pretty good. So he, he's, he can he can do this. He can absolutely do it. You, you, I mean, I'm not, I'm not giving him advice here. I'm sure he'll be able to work it out. But this guy comes back to like there. And then he's got to dodge out and blitz him. And like power him. Pretty much. And then he can run over there. And then you've got all those. And then you just need to put the guy behind him, which would be this guy with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. So. That, that's the play to blitz this guy and then have two, two, two. And then it's very hard for the uh, Orcs. Orcs oh, I guess he's got this guy hand off. Then he needs to get tagged by this guy, I guess. He needs a double rush, but then he can blitz him off. Oh, it's really hard, actually. No. Errata, errata. No, maybe he can't just stop him. Still, hand off to him is a four plus, right? Hand off to him is a four plus. So I think that's kind of as good as you can do, honestly. Make him more like a four two. Definitely isn't great. Yeah. Oh yeah, two for animosity, four for the catch, and then two for the rush. So two, two, four. I think that was the best play. But 
I don't think this is enough, right? I mean, maybe it is. But. Oh. Fails. Used his one turn reroll as well to do it. It's just a 3D for a push, isn't it, with 90 blows, so this is about as easy as it gets. Yeah, gets him. Is it a rush, though? You could still snake. I didn't see a three D that rat, no question. And a 3D gets a cast. Fuzzy <laughs> <Was he> punter. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Makes the rush. And now surveillance has the one turn chance with only one reroll and only eight players. Oof. Orc cheerleaders for Sir Gull. And Underworld for Surveillance. <laughs> no relation. <laughs> This looks a relatively easy one turn, doesn't it? And just blitz. Blitz him out to there. No, no, no dodges required. Okay, I'm um, very bamboozled so far. The play is just like the Nabola one that we saw not, looks in, not so long ago, right? It's blitz this guy, push him to there, 
push them into where the hole would be, except it isn't because it's where the side stepper is. And then he's up, and then you punch in, and he's there, and then he's just a two plus off to score. Very simple. He has figured it out, but it looks like he hasn't fully figured it out. It looks like he's not filling in these last two, right? And he's got this in the hole, so he's just going to hold him and then push him and then block him, which is all a bit rubbish. He has in the air, yeah, this isn't good. Oh! What a joke. Silly children's game. I don't think he can do it now. I mean, maybe, to be fair. Still scathing, isn't he? Probably should have had, like, a, this gutter. Should have probably been, like, here, right, in case he got the quick snap. That was probably a good idea. This is still totally doable, actually, <laughs> isn't it? He just pushes him, one, two, and then he fills in these two, and then boxes him and goes up, and then boxes him again. So it's still totally doable. I guess the bad thing is having to hand off in three tackle zones and in the rain. That's the hard part. Because I think he needs both of them to fill. Oh, unless he's doing something else. Big one to not really surveillance's fault, of course. The uh, solid defense was brutal. But the surveillance just needs the draw to top the group and likely eliminate so I mean, he's already dropped the top of the group so this literally doesn't matter at all to surveillance it's good practice though isn't it it's good practice it's just this game only matters to the other three people in the group um, which 
can see circles on two points the Patsky and Spitfire are both on one apiece if Circle draws this then if one of those wins their game they will join Surveillance in the round of 32 if Circle wins this then he's second and their game doesn't matter at all without. but if it's a draw they're both still alive it could still be a draw it's not over yet like yes it's been horrible so far for Surveillance but I think he's got 10 players? No, he's got 9. Nine players, three re-rolls. Still got a chance. I'll just be right back. Ooh, he caught the uh, caught the kick. That stun is a bit sad, though, isn't it? Because now that guy can get. Well, to be fair, he's probably not going to foul. That's probably a pretty good stun, actually, because he's probably not going to foul him. And then he'll have him, you know, downfield for later. But it's a bit sad. Only eight, only eight rats trying to dacker. her. This is going to be a bit tricky. I'm sorry. No offence to the guy. At all. <laughs> I've just read on Reddit. Not on Reddit, actually, on Disco. Somebody said, Does anyone ever use Hail Mary Pass with Diving Catch? And the response was, I'm almost there for my league. Like one skill away, maybe two. <laughs> I mean... Everybody's two skills away from a Hail Mary pass and diving catch. <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Maybe he meant SPP, right? Maybe he meant SPP. But, um... <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> oh 
Um, no, it doesn't work, no. Especially with him, he passes even worse now, right? Because you get minuses for it, you get modifiers, so it's not even. It was minimal use before when Dio said it was brilliant, and now it's useless. Oh, lovely blitz. The pro so I, I like this, this blitz, but I like doing it the last chance, right? The turn before you break. Because doing it now, he's just going to blitz you, right? Like, you want to do it the turn that you move up. You want to, you know, like, you want to move up one turn. So, like, you're here. So you can punch through the next turn. So, he could just blitz him. Okay, well, he's, he, maybe this is good enough. Maybe this is good enough to have the guy behind him. Yeah, okay, well, that's pretty, that's, that's all okay then, I guess, is, but that's the thing, like, you know, if you've got, like, two threats, because now he's probably just going to, like, bring this guy back there, right, and then, like, not move forward and stuff, and just blitz this guy or whatever, so, like, I don't know. No, well, it looks like he's going after him and leaving him back, so, maybe it was perfect doing that. Full pow. And the cards are all good. Oh. Surveillance representing all of PlayStation 4 is being found wanting in this match. Not that he's played terribly or anything, you know, just. Uh, nothing's really gone his way. And, like, honestly, the block biggins are just better than guard, right, against Skaven. can try to surf this blitzer, right? One, move the gutter to there, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then surf him. It's not great, but it's something. He's got, hasn't got a breakthrough on, has he? Well, unless he blitzes this guy, and then, uh, like, wandies the big one somehow. Yeah, he's like a plus strength Norse team. It's it's weird. Jugs. <laughs> a few, a few million dollars away. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, unfortunately, doing that just doesn't achieve anything, right? You just now. Like, okay. Now what? And then. Uh... 
one dollar in 2007 away from being rich. <laughs> Not so much, to be honest, uh, Fowler Slayer. It's more like just horns to be able to hit anything at all. <laughs> That's the problem. was a little bit ambitious. Couldn't get it. And now surely this whole team is going to get slammed in on. Now, like you know, with defensive, it makes having guard less good. So you kind of need to go more horns to be able to hit anything. Like guards less valuable. God, this is grim, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely grim. He does have this one dice, pow, <laughs> and then dodge through, and then dodge through, and then dodge this guy through, and then dodge this guy over. So he's got a way out, like it's rubbish, but he's got a way out. 
You could even dodge this to give this make this a 2D, right? That's probably the best. Dodge this out and then 2D that. Hate this. Oh, this is the blitz. Oh, I really hate this then. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, no. No, I think the play was throw a dodges so that this is a 2D. Because you kind of really want him down, right? You really want him down in that square. And then follow. And then dodge through. And then he runs through. And then he... Three, two, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not great, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could have had like the gutter there, the uh, blitzer there, and the ball there. That was the play, like 100%. I'm 100% confident that was the play. But now. Reachable. Got a four three two to get out and put in there, which is pretty good. Presumably that. Oh then I'll get just go with the side as well. I guess he can come out here. Looks like not only you're getting two dice, you're getting three dice here, doesn't it? You can dodge that and then double rush to there. Uh, I think I think the player was to uh, get to here right at all costs. Where was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush. And you've actually got a screen there protecting. And then in fact, maybe this guy just went one back. Right? Maybe this guy was here. the play there, given what else he'd done. I guess he's just going to go for the 2D then. Yeah. Doesn't get the pow. Doesn't get the pow. Oh baby. There is a chance for the little gutter that could. That was really weird, I think. I mean, but, you know, Circle's been allergic to three dicing anyway. But, like, I feel like you really do have to three dice a gutter runner there. When the old, you know, the if you fail, you lose is the, is the, is the game state, right? If you don't power, you lose. And you're just three twos away. Oh god. Flick that accidentally. I guess you don't lose. 13 is up here and then 14 is in. He can just dodge, right? He can just dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he can blitz and make a screen. And then this guy can just three, two, three. 
And you can try and cover it. You can dodge through at the end as well. Triple block dice might have meant triple skulls, but you've got to you've got to try, haven't you? Maybe it's better just one dicing him with a reroll, right? Because then it's a one in one in nine anyway. So maybe just one dice this guy. You just need a three plus. That's better than doing the dodge with him. Probably isn't it? Because you do the three plus with him, you've got to do a two plus as well anyway. But I don't know. Powering this guy would be really good. You just need to push him to there, and that gives you the three two. So you do just need the push. So yeah, maybe you just one dice blitz with him, run back, and then dodge this on a 3-2. Oh, so he not dodges him around. Just get the push, so just save in the reroll. Then he can like screen up to here or maybe even here, right? Maybe there. Oh, I don't like that. I'd rather he screen it down. Oh, he's rolled a two. Oh, he's rolled it, let's go. Run down. See, look, because this guy's th these guys are closer. Why are you tagging there, right? Just go here. So you made a little screen for him. He's got a double rush now. Yeah, I think it was definitely better to make a little screen for him. Like I, I get, I get wanting to uh, tag him. I want to tag him, but I think the best, the better play was. Um, a little screen for this fella. And then this one could have gone four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then rushed and got another screen in or something. So it looks like Sergal's gonna have three turns to score back. In the rain with one reroll. And you know, there's a chance, I guess, of, of getting the stall here for uh, surveillance, because he does have gutters that could do things. But I mean, that that's another reason why this base seems bad, right? Because now he just brings somebody up and punches him. Whereas if he was here, he's nearer your end zone, it's another player from the hit. For you to have three that can roll dice. But I guess he's not going to try the uh, extra turn stall. I don't know, what do they look like if, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty hard to tell who's who, isn't it, even though one side's orcs and one side's scaven, both being black like that, no, that's, That's leaving red and blue. This gutter can run to there, and this gutter can run to there, and he can have a bit of a screen if this guy gets out. It's just so hard, isn't it? I think it's better just to score it. But then, how are you going to defend with no players? Now he gets a side step forward. You could make a sideline cage, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
could just have these two gutters there and make a sideline cage. But then he's going to get squeezed in super hard. That's the problem. And he's killed anyway, so he can't make a sideline cage. Right. Rogue Blitz try to get lucky. Skull. You maybe shouldn't even make the Rogue Blitz either. But, depends how lucky you think you need to be. Oh, he's got a reserve anyway. So. Just a big in there. Alright, he got he got both KOs back, that's pretty good. Nine players. Yeah, come to more. I love Vimy. Not toxic enough, I tell you. Surveillance. He can go for a cheeky ball sack as well, can't he? He's got he's got three rerolls and Skaven, so maybe he could go for a ball sack. Yeah, you know, one in four to just fail the pickup. Could do a kick, just a deep kick is brutal for orcs. So anything can happen. Surveillance has a chance of holding Sergal to a draw. And maybe, maybe eliminating him. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much. Jeff7733. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. What a legend. Thank you very much, and welcome Fallish SB and Chow Can Fight <laughs> to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a photograph, can't you tell? <laughs> it's from a long time ago when I uh, when I did. I was doing a little bits and pieces of art, trying to learn how to draw at one point, and I didn't really follow through with it, of course. And uh, one of the things was, I was drawing like a Chaos Warrior, and uh, that was obviously me under the armour. <laughs> and then, uh, for some reason, thought of making like... Uh, for some reason, I mean, you certainly don't want to do it when it comes to farting, do you? Sounds like it. Um, yeah, and I did that, and then for some reason, thought of like animating it and like you know having claws coming out because the the Chaos Warrior had claws. It's still my like background picture for Twitch, right? And YouTube, my my Twitch and my YouTube have both got the. Uh, both got the Chaos Warrior picture as like the, the kind of header of the channel. Mm. Yeah. So I did that and then. Um, oh god, yeah. That's a, well, at least at least the uh, at least the thrower can't get it. Well, he can. He's got a double rush. That is good. That is. Uh, well, he's, he can't rush it, can he? Because then, what, what does he do with it? He's got to pick it up with a blitzer, and he's only got one reroll. Oh, makes another cast. I guess you've just got to make the pick up with a blitzer and reroll it. Eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Like you basically have to do this. Um, 
I'll be honest. <laughs> Do not watch Pornhead Podcast, no. But, I mean, that is encouraging people to get off their rats and exercise is good. <laughs> No, oh, I think this is a mistake, right? I think you have to just pick it up with a blitzer. Or I guess he doesn't go for the rushes this turn, and next turn he goes for the pickup handoff. But if you're going to do that, might why not? Because uh, you don't want it go on the crowd. I mean, rats can just go and get the ball anyway. I think he had to go for the pickup that turn. I think he had to go for the Blitzer pickup. Because he's already got the, um... He's already got the guy Kaz, right? He's already got the strip ball Kaz. So he can Blitz here and open up a gaping hole. And then run three gutters. Swarm the ball. GG. <laughs> There's no backstory. It's just that, you know... Um, Bonehead podcast or fine, like, you know, fun having people. Um, it's just, you know, like, it's it's literally got nothing against them at all. It's just literally the advice things, right? It's the tactics things is a bit of a joke. Not just on my channel, but also on every single person who streams Wood Bowl's kind of channel is, you know, their strategy advice is for want of a better word, completely laughable. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's all it is. Not not that, like, the bad people are anything. Or that the other videos are bad. Oh my god, but he's made some rolls. He can jump! Yes! Yes! Do you know what? He could have, he could have, oh my god, yes! Yes! He might have done it. He might have done it. Imagine not going for the pickup though, honestly. Versus rats. Amazing. <laughs> the the problem with that is finally I was thinking that as well, but the problem with that is like you could you could throw it here, right? And then you could wildly inaccurate back to the orcs. <laughs> Which is the thing. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, exactly. For, for us later, right? No, no one, no one disses their hobby stuff. Like, absolutely nobody disses their hobby stuff. It's just the, um... It's just the advice thing. Run away with cheering rats on. Well, Goldstacker, it's a long story. Which is probably best not to go into. But, um... Sergal is not people's favourite person. Good. Fails his rush. And that's 2-1. Two, one. Um, yeah, 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one win, isn't it? Glorious. Glorious. Okay, well. That should be... <laughs> that should be circle eliminated. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we just need one of the other two in the group to win now in the final game. So, in fact, that's a loss for him, isn't it? That's a loss, but he scored a touchdown. Ah, oh, but he's got the best. He's got the best touchdown difference. So, if Zapatsky and Spitfire draw two-two, they'll have to have a playoff versus each other. If they draw one-one. Oh no, he's got no, he's got something. Yeah, if they draw one-one on nil-nil, then Sergo will still qualify. No, he won't because he's lost by one. So he's three-four. So if they draw, oh my god, if they draw one-one, there'll be a three-way tie. <laughs> right, because he's on three-four now. And if they draw one-one, they'll be on three-four. It'll be a three-player tie if they draw one-one, but. If either of them wins, they qualify. 
Oh man. Oh man. Well, wow, thank you very much, Jeff. Positive Jimmy's worth watching. Thank you, Helen Yeah, I'm, I've been a lot more positive late. New Jim. There you go. So, well done, Surveillance. Massive congrats to Surveillance. That was crazy. That looked so horrible for him. So horrible. It was awful with that dagger, and then he pulled it out, and then somehow got the win as well. Unbelievable. Unbelievable rat nonsense. Um, and that means he's won every game and has qualified. I mean, he'd already won the group, but now he's won every game. And Sergal ends on three... No, two points. He lost two points. Three touchdowns, four, four against. And yeah, Zapatsky and Spitfire or Orcs and Undead, they could very much draw 1-1, one, one, and then they'll be on two points, the same as Sergal, with three scored and four against if they draw 1-1. One, one. They could, If they draw 0-0, nil, nil, they're both out. <laughs> if they draw 2-2, two, two, then they've got to have a playoff, and if either of them wins, they qualify. So that should be a pretty cool match of Patsky versus Spitfire. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.